Good morning, everyone. I'd like you to welcome you to the uh, inaugural professional internship presentation for the University of Hawaii at Hilo Tropical Conservation Thank Biology you. Environmental Science graduate program. Uh, to kick off today, I would um, like to One moment, there we go. To kick off today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Zoom etiquette. So this meeting is being recorded and it's also being live streamed. There's a little bit of a lag with the YouTube live, live stream. Um, I'm hoping that you all can um, confirm that your microphone is muted. If you have any questions during any presentation, please write it into the chat. I, Lisa Canale, will receive that. And at the end of the presentation, if there's time, I will ask the questions. And if it's no time, your question won't be forgotten. It'll be emailed to the presenter. During um, our event today, which is uh, starting now and will end about 3.15, there'll be about a five minute break between um, presenters, but there's gonna be no break for lunch. So please feel free to come um, and go as needed. And, uh, and so now I'd like to introduce the uh, director of the Tropical Conservation Biology and Environmental Science Program. Thank you, Lisa. Um, aloha, everybody. Um, thank you for coming today to this monumentous occasion for the final presentations of the professional internship track. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the University of Hawaii at Hilo's Tropical Conservation Biology and Environmental Science Program that we affectionately refer to as TCBS and tell you a little bit about the mission. Um, it is to provide a master's level graduate education that fosters knowledge of theory and techniques in conservation biology and environmental science, including basic applied and socio-ecological -eco research. And also promote scholarly activities in marine and terrestrial environments that will enable the participants to pursue, pursue careers in research and natural resource management. Um, the Masters of Science in TCBS provides graduate training um, in conservation biology and environmental science. The program utilizes the extraordinary biological, physical, and cultural complexity of the island of Hawaii as a focus of investigation and study. And many of the projects um, that are conducted as part of this program are conducted here on our island. Graduates of the program are highly successful at obtaining technical positions as scientists, resource managers, and educators, and admission into PhD programs in related fields. The program began in 2004, um, and we've had over 193 graduates so far. We currently have 45 faculty associated with the program across four different colleges at UH Hilo. And we have a record current students. However, not for long, as 17 of them will be graduating this semester. And we are very excited about that. So little plug, uh, join us for the virtual TCBS graduation, May 16th at 10 a.m. Invitations will soon be in your email. Um, we also have uh, numerous affiliated and affiliated faculty, adjunct faculty, and mentors associated with our program. And we want to send out a huge mahalo to those folks. Um, and many of them are here today to, to speak about the students that they have worked with um, during this professional internship. These professionals who are serving as mentors for students' internship projects or on students' thesis committees teaching classes, giving seminars, a huge, a huge debt of gratitude goes to them and we welcome their continued partnership. I'd like now to turn the mic over to Dr. Becky Ostertag, who is the Associate Director for the TCBS program and Professor of Biology. Aloha everyone, just give you a little bit more background. In fall 2018, we expanded our internship track 
to develop into really a professional master's program. The students that are here today have conducted over 600 hours of internship work in an immersive internship experience. In the past, the majority of UH Hilo TCPS graduate students followed the thesis track, received an excellent education in research, and then many graduates went on to work in natural resource management rather than to continue their education and obtaining a doctorate. With this reality in mind, UH Hilo revamped the internship track option to align the courses with knowledge and experiences that a graduate needs in order to actively contribute as a scientific professional in an environmental and conservation agency setting, an NGO or some other organization. So part of this revised curriculum is a rigorous internship project, and you're gonna hear the results and fruits of those labors today. Now more than ever, we need science to make informed decisions about conserving biodiversity and management of our natural resources. And we need social science to understand how humans are making decisions that affect the well-being of our planet. So we need to understand these human and environmental interactions, and you're gonna hear about that today. And that's the advantage of Hawaii. We have something here that's truly special and unique, a spirit of aloha and collaboration that we can see so clearly among the people in this audience, the students, the mentors that they've worked with, our UH Hilo faculty, um, partners, agencies, and the seasoned veterans to those just starting on their career path, there's a sense that we can and will work together to solve these large environmental problems. And in this small island system, we collaborate because we enjoy each other, we respect each other, and we know that's what's Pono. Um, we have this beautiful wisdom of the indigenous knowledge and our earth and our environment here in Hawaii on which to build. So we invite you today to listen, to observe, to ask questions, to critique, and share our knowledge um, in this event. Um, we welcome all of you, and we look forward to learning together today. Thank you so much for coming to this. Um, thank you for supporting our students. And we're really excited to hear all the experiences that they've had during their internship process what they've learned and what they can share with us and we can use as common knowledge to build upon in Hawaii and beyond. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you, Dr. Ostertag for and Dr. Wigner for um, sharing and welcoming us to today's presentation. I'd now like to um, welcome Layla Dudley uh, to the Zoom as she will be leading an Oli with us. Aloha mai kako. Um, this morning we will be um, chanting Eho mai, which is a chant that was composed by Auntie Edith Kanaka Ole to request knowledge and wisdom. So today we'll be chanting together from wherever we are as a means to connect us as a hui, to create a solid foundation for the knowledge that will be shared today and to ask for wisdom and knowledge as well as, as we share about internship experiences and also guidance and protection for the people and communities that we work with and Aina that we care for. So please join in um, from wherever you are. Mahalo. Eho maika ike maie o na Thank you. 
Thank you very much for that. It is 827. So at 830, we're going to um, have uh, John Flint present. So uh, feel free to stretch your legs for the next couple minutes while we get um, John set up. Thank you very much. <laughs> 